So, you think the origami killer killed Manfred? That makes sense. Didn't want him spilling his guts to us. And you suspect Gordy Kramer, right? Oh, him or one of his men. Gordy has the time and the means, not to mention the fucked up attitude to go along with it. He's only a suspect, but he's a pretty guilty looking one. Are these your files on the case? Yeah, I've been working on them for a couple of years. Uh, I built up a mountain of paperwork. Magazines about origami? You think the killer could have subscribed to one of those? If he was even remotely interested in origami in the last 30 years, his name may be in there somewhere. The trouble is, there's over 500 names. It gets a squat. I'm starving. Do you have anything to eat? Well, I'm no chef, but I should be able to make some scrambled eggs if you like. Great. I'm soaking wet. I need to warm up a little. Is it okay if I take a shower? I'll be my guest. Go to my bedroom. It's the next door. Oh, I'll cook up the eggs while you're under the shower. Some nerve, that girl. <laughs> Some nerve. Egg should be ready by now. I took the liberty of borrowing your bathrobe. Looks better on you. Hey, that almost looks good enough to eat. What's that? The notebook I took from Manfred's place. According to this, about 30 clients bought spare parts for Royal Machines in the last 10 years. The killer may be one of them. Oh, you know, checking out the alibi of 30 clients one by one, that's a lot of legwork. Except that if we cross-check them with the list. The list of subscribers to Origami Magazines, you still got that, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. Lauren, wait! If the killer really used a royal typewriter, and if he subscribed to an origami magazine, his name should be on both lists. Well, Lauren, I, I mean, that's just an assumption, but yeah, I suppose. His name is here somewhere. Help me, we're gonna find him. The only guy whose name was on both lists died when he was 10. 
What are you gonna do now? Dig up his coffin, make sure he's dead? I know it doesn't make any sense. Unless the killer was only using his name. But why use the name of a kid who died 30 years ago? Well, that's what we came to find out. The name is John Shepard. It should be on a grave around here somewhere. You never give up, do you? <laughs> this girl knows her mind all right. No point in trying to reason with her. It's cold. It's raining. I'm standing outside getting soaked. Oh, how I love my job. I should be investigating Gordy Kramer right about now. And here I am, standing in a cemetery, pouring rain, looking for the grave of a kid who's been dead for 30 years. Excuse me. I'm looking for the grave of a young boy who died about 30 years ago. His name was John Shepard. You wouldn't know where it is by any chance. The children's graves are in the next plot. Thanks. Gotta hand it to her. That girl is one really determined chick. Hey, Scott, where are you going? John Shepard's grave must be somewhere around here. Did anyone ever tell you you shouldn't shout in the cemetery? Take it easy, the dead don't mind. Flowers are fresh. Looks like someone's still tending the grave. Origami figures. That's one hell of a coincidence. Oh, youngin. That one I knew well. You knew John Shepard? I've worked this graveyard nearly all my life. I remember what happened. It was in 77, October, I think. Yeah, good for nothing, hoodlums. Get the hell out of here! God, beat it! You lousy, no good brats! Come back when your fucking mother comes home from work! He's drunk again. What are we gonna do? It's pouring rain. We're gonna get soaked if we spend a day outside. Well, this won't get beat. Little rain never hurt nobody. Come on, let's go play. Bet you can't catch me! Good for nothing, hoodlums.
Let's get the hell out of here! God, beat it! You lousy, no good brat! Come back when your fucking mother comes home from work. He's drunk again. What are we gonna do? It's pouring rain. We're gonna get soaked if we spend a day outside. Well, at least you won't get beat. Little rain never hurt nobody. Come on, let's go play. Bet you can't catch me!
wait for me. Get a move on. and try to find me, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 'll listen up for him I should follow his voice uh, help. Uh, help. Uh, uh, John my foot my foot is stuck grab on I'll put it over there He had never did find any help. And his brother drowned in a pipe full of rainwater. The boy that lived, what happened to him? Well, all I know is he got separated from his parents. I, I think he got adopted. Well, looks like a storm's coming. I guess I better be getting home. Christ, what a horrible story. John Shepard drowned in the rain while holding his brother's hand. Do you think he... he could be the origami killer? Come on, let's get back in the car. 
<laughs> there she goes again. Surprising me. I don't usually like surprises. The kid died 30 years ago. Who's still tending the grave after all these years? Wait. What's the matter? That man over there. Yeah? It's Charles Kramer. Gordy's father? What's he doing here? Putting flowers on John Shepard's grave. hard to find. girl.
I say if you got it, flaunt it. Time to swing my hips and get a little rise out of Paco. Actually, I might do anything for a little bit of information. Pretty scary. It'll never work. Paco will never fall for it. Mind you, a guy who wears a jacket like that is capable of anything. No, lover boy. Let's see if we can resist this. Sweetheart, the boss wants to invite you to his table. Hey, thanks for accepting my little invitation. You go around here, honey? I think I would have known it a little bit more. My name's Papa. You? Madison. I'm Madison. Oh. Oh. Why you move, Madison? You make me all hot under the collar. Maybe we can continue this conversation somewhere more private. Oh, cool, baby. Yeah, come with me. <laughs> Everything is gonna be all right. I have a plan. I know exactly what I'm doing. This guy is truly revolting. Ugh. This is no time to get squeamish. Even if my legs do feel like they're about to give way. Just follow him to his office. Just follow him to his office. Everything's gonna be all right. Everything is gonna be all right. Go in, I make him talk to the gun, and I get out of there before I get into big trouble. Everything's gonna be all right. Everything is going to be all right. Shit. You're making the biggest mistake of your life, Madison. So, welcome to my little kingdom. I'll take it. Just get in the way of the good things, sweet cheeks. So, show me what you can do. Take it all. Slowly. Take it all off. Uh, uh, could... Could I have a drink? You know, just a little drink to break the ice? We already broke the ice. Let's get wet. Come on. Do your thing, girl. I'm sorry. Um, I, I think there's been a little misunderstanding. Look, look uh, I I'll just go. No harm done. Another time. I think it is you who are misunderstood. I'm tired of wasting my time. It's now or never. And I never take never for an answer.
the lamp. If only I could find some way to grab it. Oh, I know! Kicking butt. You go, girl. Okay, act two. Let's hear Lover Boy sing. If you call out, I'll kill you. Got it? Shit. What you want? You rent an apartment on Marble Street. I want to know why. An apartment? I don't know what you're talking about. Ugh! You fucking bitch! I'm gonna kill you! <laughs> you haven't got the balls, lady. But you're going to know, boss, when I gush up with you. Boss? Is everything all right? Yes? Where's Paco? I'm sorry, um, he can't come to the door right now. He's all, um, tied up at the moment. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> ah! If you value those prized balls of yours, Paco, then it's time for you to talk. What you doing? Stop it! Stop it! I'm only getting started. How about some more? Ah, I never said foot in that environment. I gave the keys to some guy. He said he needed a place. He had money. What was that guy's name? I, I don't know his name. I swear. Ah, ah. Shepard! His name is John Shepard! That's all I know! I swear it! Ugh. There, that wasn't so hard, was it? I really appreciated this romantic moment, but I got a dash. See you next time, lover boy. <laughs> The name he gave me, John Shepard. Could that be the name of the killer? Guess I'll soon find out. Time to get out of here. Well, that was a pretty good way of getting a guy to spill his guts. <laughs> Next time he'll think twice before he takes a cute chick up to his office. How about that? You didn't do too badly now, did you, girl?
There ain't no Paco here, fella. Get lost. Are you absolutely certain? He's in his office. Take the stairs over there. Garby, I'm gonna hear you come in. A crazy beast came around here asking questions about the apartment on Marble Street. I don't know what you're doing now, and I don't wanna know. But whatever that shit is, it's beginning to draw attention. Look, I know you kept me out of prison. But that fucking bitch nearly killed me. Everything you ask, I think my debt to you is paying. Don't fuck around, man. No. Now wait. I, I can still help you out. No. Don't, don't kill me. Suspect dead. Someone tries to kill me. On the right track, do you think? Hako knew the killer. That's why he was killed. Shit. Looks like a dead end. Road to nowhere. He... He could have killed me. Why didn't he?
I seem to spend most of my time getting the shit kicked out of me. His coat pocket. I tore it off during the fight. Two receipts from the same gas station. Interesting. I'll end up a basket case if things keep going like this. That bastard nearly broke my neck! The killer was looking for something. Mm, it was too dark. It all happened so fast. Didn't have time to see his face. Madison Page? What was a journalist doing here? Paco Mendes was no saint. His rap sheet reads like the telephone book. Bullet, right between the eyes. Instant death. Forty five caliber. Forty five caliber semi automatic. Orchid pheromones, the fucking origami killer. Gotta go, need to think about all this. Oh, got the shakes and the cold sweats. Better get back to the hotel fast. Madison Page? She may be a witness. <laughs>